that the Vedic covenant, uh, the one who is both David's son and yet David's Lord, so uh, to transform Jesus into a political figure is to have another Jesus. Jesus proclaimed his kingdom, that is the rule that he was going to establish, which saw fulfillment at the resurrection, which again shows that it did not topple the Roman Empire. That was not the point. From Jose Rakanza, so we are not subscribing to the 1986 Declaration of Cambridge. Well, I just used it commendably, didn't I? And that is 1996, not 1986. 1996 Cambridge Declaration is a good declaration because it challenges evangelical trends. As I have said, this was evolved uh, in the evangelical world and many evangelical leaders were moved to have that meeting in Cambridge, Massachusetts. This is the Cambridge, England. There's a Cambridge in England, but this is Cambridge in Massachusetts United States, and they created or they had this statement. So I commend the Cambridge Declaration, which you can download, by the way, online <coughs> uh, from Joven, uh, from Lipa. My question is, is there any wrong in the statement, I am without creed by Christ? You mean, I am without creed but Christ. But if you are without creed, what is your belief in Christ? And the moment you state your belief, you're making a creed. Uh, so your choice is use a creed that already was the product of the wisdom of the ages or have such belief and confidence in your own creed making that you can make your own creed against all the creeds that had been discussed and formulated in the past. So you don't believe anyone who say, I, I have no creed but Christ. You ask him, what do you believe about Christ? The moment he states, he is making a creed. A credo is, I believe. So the moment he says, I believe Christ is, he is already saying credo, which is creed. Francis from Batangas. Uh, was Christ peccable or impeccable during his earthly ministry? Some Christians are harshly debating about this. We'll come to that. You're, you're too fast and you're too advanced. Uh, we'll come to that when you come to the humanity of Jesus. Jose Rakaza, thanks for clarifying my question. Okay. Uh, Joel Baktad, how is the power of God of Christ demonstrated in the life of faithful ministers, students of the word of God during this, this pandemic, specifically relating to Hebrews 10.25, Etc. Well, uh, if it is not possible to meet without peril, uh, there are alternatives. We are not the first ones to have to uh, suspend gathering. There had been pandemics in the past, uh, even during the Puritan times, there had been epidemics. And then in 1918, many churches had to suspend their assemblies also because of the worst pandemic, which was called the Spanish flu. And now we are having our own case of pandemic. We are not the first to ever suspend assemblies because of the peril of the pandemic. So each will have to make a decision of conscience when it comes to that, when the quarantine level is permitting assemblies, we have other assemblies. When the level is high because of high incidence, we try to follow the government, but we always have, we never fail by God's grace to have our Zoom live stream. Uh, by the way, when you uh, ask or direct your question also, introduce your, not only your nickname, but also your church and place. So from Osilito Faustino de Guzman, why did John the Baptist doubt Jesus 
and the authenticity of his identity. Well, he was in prison then, and remember that his proclamation was that the one coming will baptize with a baptism of fire. So in the perception of John the Baptist, he was not wrong. But in his perception, the prophetic uh, content of his proclamation was to happen in his lifetime. And it did not. Instead, he found himself in prison. So uh, he had his doubts, which on the one hand tells us that even the best of men will struggle with doubts. And yet, that did not in any way depreciated from the significance of John the Baptist because right after that in Matthew 11, Jesus began to tell to his disciples about the greatness of John the Baptist, but even the list of the kingdom, that is the list of those who come to the point where Jesus fulfills the kingdom expectation, they have the greater blessing than even John the Baptist. Other questions? Let's take a break.